Hey everyone, how's it going? Sorry Miami's in the way photobombing our video. Now, for today's video, we're going to be making a new creation that comes from one of our Instagram followers, and this character is a combination of Godzilla and a skull crawler. Now, it looks really cool. We kind of call it like a Godzilla crawler or a Skullzilla, kind of your choice. But I'm going to show you guys today how to draw this new creation. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with our Godzilla crawler, we're going to begin with the face. So I'm going to start right about here, and I'm going to just make a little line that's going to curl down and then up like this for the eyebrow ridge. Next, I'm going to start by making a little line that's going to curve up to form the eye. And then I'm going to make a couple little curved lines underneath it. Starting right here, I'm going to make a little line that's just going to curve around. And then I'm going to make a little line that's going to curve the opposite way so it looks like it's kind of sitting in there. I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go up and then down to kind of form a little bit of a ridge. Next, I'm going to start back here and I'm going to make a line that's going to go up it's going to come down like this and then back. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down to here. I'm going to draw a line that's going to curl up. It's going to come down like this. Make a little line that's going to go down and it's going to curve up down and I'm going to bring it right up into here. Starting right here I'm going to make a line that's going to go down. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to curve around here for like the nostril. A couple little lines on here. I'm going to make another line that's going to go down and it'll come around here. Starting right here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to curve down. And then up here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down. It's going to curve down to here. And we're going to go down and bring it back a little bit. Right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. We're going to go up to here. I'm going to make a line that's going to go out. I'm going to go down and then bring it up to here. Then starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and it's going to come back here. And then I'm going to make a little line that's going to connect into here. Starting here, we're going to add the teeth. I'm going to make some big, sharp, kind of fang, curvy teeth and some more right up here too. We're going to make that long tongue, so I'm going to make a tongue that's going to curve down and up and then it's going to come back out like this. Now we're going to bring it right back into here. Then I'm going to add another one that's just going to curve around and that's going to come back here. Starting here, I'm going to add a couple little lines that are just going to curve up for the neck. Starting right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go up and then it's going to come down. Then I'm going to continue this down to about here. Starting right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up. And then right here, I'm going to start a line. I'm going to add another one. We'll make one that goes down and one that's going to come up a little bit. We'll put one more there. Then I'm going to draw the line down. Now I want to add the feet. So we're going to add a couple little curved lines here. 
we we'll make a line that's going to come down and it's going to curve over. Make another one right here that's going to go down and over. And then I'm going to make one more right here that's going to go down it's going to come up. Then right here we're going to add the claws, so I'm going to make a couple little curved lines on here. And then we'll add a couple more. Then starting here I'm going to add a little line that's going to come down for the body. Now starting right up here I'm going to add a little line that's going to come up and it's going to go down. When I get up to here, I'm also going to add a big kind of spike shape right here that's kind of popping out of the arm. I'm going to add another little line here. I'm going to add a couple little curved lines that come out this way. And I'm just going to kind of curve these around. Then I'm going to jump over this and I'm going to make a nice line that's going to curve right around here. Now, right here, before I add the other arm, I'm going to add a few spikes onto here. So I want to get some of these spikes established so that I can get the other arm in. So we're going to start right here at about the head, and I'm going to make a couple little spikes that go back, and they're going to come down, kind of like little shark fins. I'm going to go up and down. Once I get to about here, I'm going to start adding some more points into them, a little more of the Godzilla dorsal fin kind of spike look. I'm going to add a couple more onto here as well. I'm just kind of going up and down with these. I'm going to add some more back here. As I start getting down towards the bottom of the tail, I'm going to start making them smaller. And I'm going to stop them right about there because this is when the tail is going to start curving around. Now I'm also going to put a few more spikes behind some of these as well just to make it look like there are a lot of different points and spikes all along this creature, our little Godzilla crawler. Now starting up here I'm going to add, or I'm actually going to leave it like this, I'm going to put a big spike up here that goes this way to kind of show where this one is and I'm going to put a little line coming down. Then I'm going to make another line that goes down here. We're going to add a couple little curved lines like this. Then I'm going to add a little line that's going to go down and back. And then one more that's going to go down and back like this. We'll add one more out here. And then I'm going to draw just some lines that come up here. I'm going to add a few little curved lines on here just for some details. And then I'm going to curve this up to here. I want to make it kind of pop out and we're going to end it short. It's not going to be a super long tail. And then we're going to curve this back to here. And then I'm going to put a few kind of small little spikes on here. Then one of the things I want to do is right over here I'm going to add a little line that's going to go up and then it's going to curve down for kind of like a little spike on the back or a little claw. We can put one right here too just like we'll see a tiny bit of it. Okay so we have our basic shape of our Godzilla skull crawler combo. Now we just want to come in here and add some of the different details. So I'm going to start like over here and I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go up and down. And I'm going to make a little line back here too. A little line or two right there and a few little long broken lines along the face. Let me line right here too for some detail. A few little broken lines on here, a couple little extra lines. Some long curved lines on here. I'm going to start right here where this little uh, bump is. I'm going to add a little line in here. Same thing on this side. Kind of give it more of that like bone texture. A couple little lines in here.
Then right across here, I'm gonna give him some kind of big, almost like plates on his back. So we'll kind of curve some lines real quick for his arms. And then I'm gonna give him some little lines that are gonna go up and down. And these are going to be kind of like in a triangular shape. And these are just gonna be some nice like plate-like designs on here. We'll stop them right about there. Then we can just come in here and add some little lines on top of them. Some little details kind of right around the edges. I want to make a nice long broken line that kind of comes up to here. Kind of show where his stomach is and we'll add a few little curved lines on here for some texture. I'm going to add some nice long lines that are going to come right across the edge. We'll do them on the top and the bottom. And then a few lines kind of coming up and down for some more detail. I'm going to add some quick little broken lines on these big spikes here. Give them some detail. I'm going to do that kind of same thing over here too. Some nice long lines. Run some more lines on here. And we're just going to add lots of little lines everywhere. I'm going to add some curved lines kind of where his elbow is going to be. Make some more quick little lines on here. And some more little lines kind of right around the edge. I'm also going to add some curved lines onto each of the toes as well. And I'm going to put some more little lines on here. We can also add more lines and details onto the spikes for some quick little details. And there you go. There is your drawing of a Godzilla crawler, kind of like a Godzilla skull crawler combo. This was a really fun one to draw, and keep sending me in a lot of your drawings. I know I haven't been making a bunch of them, but that is my goal to start making more of them. And uh, they're just really fun to draw and have a lot of uh, really good ideas. So I love seeing what you guys make and trying to draw it in my own style. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.